Hello everyone, this is Derek from RME, and today I want to show everyone how to use Total Mix with Zoom. Now essentially there's two scenarios that you're going to be looking at. One scenario is a simple Zoom meeting where all I'm looking to do is use the microphone, high quality mic input on the baby face, interact with my Zoom audience, and be able to hear my audience in the baby face using either the headphone or the main out and I want my audience to show up as a software playback because again Zoom is audio. So the way that you do this is obviously bring up your microphone gain accordingly and if you want to use any EQ you can do that as well and mix your microphone to your headphones by clicking on the output in whatever level you need it to be and that's it. Uh, in the Zoom settings you choose the Babyface Pro as the microphone input and my microphone pretty much right after the gain is going to go right to Zoom and nothing in Total Mix is going to affect Zoom in this instance. Um, and then in order to have my Zoom participants audio, if they have questions or comments to show up here, I go into Zoom and select the speaker output to be the Babyface Pro. So let's actually do that. So I have our good friend Corey on a Zoom call. Say hi, Corey. Hello. So I have a choice. Hello. On my audio settings, I can set the microphone to be the internal mic or the baby face. As you see, I have it set to the baby face. But on the speaker, I can select the baby face pro or the built-in output. Now, when I first asked Corey to say hello, it was set to built-in output. So his audio went to my laptop speakers. If I want his audio and all of my Zoom participants' audio to go into the baby face, I just make that selection. Corey, go ahead and say hello again. Hello. And you, we'll just talk for a minute, and you can see his audio is right here. He said he's filling in words. There you go. And that is a simple setup for doing Zoom with the baby face pro. Now, the second scenario, and probably the scenario I get asked about the most, is what if I want to do desktop audio as part of my Zoom meeting. What would that look like? Well, it could be a PowerPoint with video. It could be playing music or some other presentation out of some other software. The point is software generated audio on this computer I want to mix into my Zoom meeting. In order to do that scenario, two things have to happen. I want to make sure that audio is coming into one of the playback channels and that's going to be done via audio MIDI setup on a Mac or if you're using a Windows machine that's going to be in your sound control panel. So in this case I'm on a Mac I've chosen this to be the sound output which means any application that defaults to the Mac OS like PowerPoint, iTunes, using a web browser with YouTube any audio generated by those types of applications is going to show up here. If I'm using more complicated and complex audio applications like a DAW, I have the, the flexibility to route audio into these other playback channels. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my audio speaker output for my Zoom participants, and I want to set that to be built-in output. That way, any conversations that are generated by my participants will go to my speaker on my laptop, and any desktop audio will go right here, and we can mix it to the output. So let's just say we want to play some music. Um, so I'm going to open up iTunes, and I'm going to play some music. In order to hear that music in Zoom, I need to use the loopback feature. What the loopback feature does is it makes the physical output look like the corresponding input. Now, since the Mac OS only sees the Babyface Pro 1 and 2 input and 1 and 2 output, we have to choose the main 1 and 2 output, which in this example is analog 1 and 2, and we choose loopback. Now we create a loop of, uh, not a loop, we create a mix of my microphone and my music to go to Zoom. And now the mix to Zoom is a combination of microphone and music. So let's check in with Corey. Corey, can you hear that music all right? All right. 
hopefully that helps you all understand how to use Zoom in one of two meeting scenarios. Basic meeting with your microphone, taking advantage of the RME interface and total mix, or a more complex scenario where you want to mix in desktop audio into your meetings. Thanks for watching.